hi guys i am back with my new video uh, today we will be it, this will be an in depth video on totally like fixing the game yes the last of us which we really like to play and you know test mark or benchmark our processor and graphics devices so yeah and to make this uh, a proper go so i have moved on with a very lower end recommendations for to play this game that is an i7 7700 uh, and I've got a 23.96 I have installed a 24 GB RAM module as a dual channel based and yeah I would really like to see how would I gain a performance hit by all these well over here you can see my rig this is an RTX A2000 yeah and yep yeah, this is the motherboard that I'm using right now uh, it's from Gigabyte and the processor in it is uh, i7-7700 so coming on this module I, I'm also going to show what I'm doing is so this is my quick CPU and here what I've done is uh, you can see I've overclocked my CPU to a bit of like 4 gigahertz to really match the performance that I need to exclude from here because this is a very basic module so here we go so what you need to do first I will be giving you this area and it would be uh, I mean this area super mode and from that area you need to extract it in the folder where you have this game installed and I would be providing the link below down the description so that you could download it and use it as of you so there are basically major things that you should not touch over here okay so you should not touch anything rather than this the NVIDIA profile inspector okay the first thing that you need to know about is what is your system on I mean how much RAM you have and how much graphics memory you have like I have A2000 it has a 6 GB GPU so majorly what I did is just simply click on NVIDIA and inspector you would uh, get uh, something like this you need not to you need not to touch anything other than you would find a panel where shader catch see and there is an option you, you can set over here okay you can either turn it off but rather than that you can make the shader cache to 512 MB that was that what I have already did and then apply the changes okay but, but I think you don't need to do that because uh, it's uh, the file I'm providing you the super mode file yeah it has everything uh, pre pre insist for you but if uh, but if the settings won't work for you then you have to do it manually and the second thing is the DLSS fix is a huge update that is also available on it and a big shout out to this guy over here uh, this uh, emus named emus uh, I got this guy from this community from github so he has this DLSS tweak and uh, for future for any games uh, this tweak would help to bring on the DLSS factor much better and it would uh, also force Vulkan also so yeah it's a great it's a great, it's a great thing that you can hop on to so yeah you can you can go and visit this site and check it out so now firing up the main game that we have okay so and one more thing i want to show you my system here majorly like this is my system config you can see i7 7700 24 gb ram and all okay so now would i would start the game it's sitting almost i think 60 fps or 61 okay that doesn't all the matter It's building the shader catch. Press any key options. This lay I'm showing you what is like it is my 6 GB and excluding out more than that. And I would there's a one thing I would recommend you if you have lower RAM because you can see it's already taking my 12 GB consuming it. So mind it if it uh, if you're using these settings that I have using. Wait, let me show you the graphic settings, okay? Okay, if you're using these settings, especially these settings if you're turning it on high you must know that it would eat up your RAM drastically okay like I have 24 GB RAM it would when you are in the main game I will show you it would really take away the 20 GB of RAM from your memory so these are the things that really changes your gameplay okay you can set it to high over here but if you want a fidelity in your gameplay then you have to set it to low or medium depending on your system uh, RAM okay so yeah so you can toggle it to lower medium accordingly you can play this at high preset because the game will run well and you can 
you can just screenshot it out because this is the major thing that would make a very big difference in your gaming without uh, lowering any fidelity or anything you can screenshot it out okay okay now let's start the game so yeah it has already started let's wait for it and you can see there is a significant speed in loading i think if you can see it i think you cannot see it because of this overshadowed one So here we are inside the game and you can see the graphics and the FPS counter. It's already hitting 46. Okay. You see the game. Okay, it's 51 is hitting likewise. And yeah, the smoothness of the game is much better right now. You can see. Yeah, it's quite difficult to play in one hand, but then also I have to play because I am wanting to show you how this game works. And the FPS counter is still good, it's like 48, 50 and all, okay. Okay, now there are many things we could adjust, like all this. And still you can see the frame rate is 55, 56 and all. Correct. So yeah, and this is the thing from all the fidelity movements and all. Uh, and this signifies everything and this proves everything, I'm still... And here you can see the shader cache. If there is no shader gas option available over here, so you could play the game betterly, and it's like a wow, and it would certainly dip. And this FPS is too much for it too. I mean, I have seen so many gaming reviews; they can't even hit this form of FPS over there because this game is staggering at 40 FPS to something like that. But the game is thankfully goes up to 60 FPS also. Okay, so yeah, there is no problem in playing the game in this full aspect ratio, and still you can see it's hitting. 51 FPS or something and all this. The majorly uh, the CPU is totally outdated for now to play games, but it is still the. But if I am gaming in, I mean this CPU, way back CPU where 52 or 56 FPS, yeah, I mean 48 to 50 FPS. This is more than enough because, yeah, this uh, in comparable to it to i3 12 gen, yeah, it's a few bucks. I mean lesser if you buy this because it's outdated i7 CPU. So you can see all the settings and everything under the camera movement, the fidelity movement, everything is good. Look, you no shuttering or lag or something else. And uh, yeah, you can see what I'm saying is that it's eating my 20 GB of RAM. You can see, okay, if it's not clear to you, you can see it's eating 20 GB of my RAM. So what I was saying to you all guys, if you, uh, if you want to, if you don't want your system to eat this much GB of RAM, you should change these settings up because these will eat everything from your uh, and also, yeah, I'm not. I have turned off all the DLSS setting. I'm, I'm playing. I was playing it at my default resolution. No DLSS, nothing. Okay. So because turning on DLSS and all, I didn't want to hit the performance base because this is what uh, I want to play on. Yeah. If you turn on DLSS, it would give you some performance, but uh, that performance I didn't like that much. So yeah. So simply go to graphics, and if you don't want that much amount of RAM to be consumed by your system you need to lower down these values because these values really really matters a lot you have to lower down these values to medium or low depending on your system load if you have 18 GB of RAM you need to play this at medium settings so that it doesn't hit too much on your graphics memory okay so yeah that's all what I have to say and convince you all guys and if you like this video do give me a thumbs up because I did so much research I go to the internet I've seen the values uh, I mean I've searched so many where, where to tweak it and all so yeah, big shout out to the developers who have uh, from the GitHub, from every community, and uh, I've, I've used those modes and finally bringing you the most uh, most better patch and fix for the system because it's my i7 7700 7 gen. So more than the 7 gen, I mean 8 gen, 9 gen, 10 gen, or any uh, CPUs you have on the lineup ratios, I think this would give you the maximum performance of the gaming that you did. So that's all for today's videos. If you like. 
my video if you want to support me do like subscribe my channel do make this video a hit okay okay this is me signing off thank you and have a nice day